Hello everybody, it's Miss Jane. Today we're going to make a pizza. We're studying about the country of Italy and there they invented the pizza many, many years ago. So I thought it would be fun to make a pizza. Now I'm going to be using this kind of dough. It's a pizza crust. But you can buy some other kind of dough. They sell it in Trader Joe's where it's more like dough ball and you can knead it and stretch it and then roll it out. But this is the only one I could find right now. And when you use the other kind of dough, there's a little hint. Leave it out for a couple hours so it gets room temperature because if you try to stretch it, it just goes back. So it has to be room temperature. But this one, we're just going to unroll. Take it out. I'm just going to unroll it onto the, the sheet. Now, you can make a round one if you have a round pan. I'm just going to make a square one. This comes out really nice. You do just spread this a little bit, spread it to all the corners. And now it's spreading really nice. Okay. Now we have mozzarella cheese, we have sauce. And we have pepperoni. And I know some of you from having lunch with you guys, I know some of you don't like pepperoni on your pieces, so you can just make a plain cheese one. I'm going to do half and half, so in case I didn't want to share it with someone who only likes cheese. And I do like pepperoni. And also, you could put any kind of topping on you want if you like. Um, uh, um, olives on here, if you like peppers, and you can also just make an all vegetarian pizza because some people they don't um, eat meat, so they like to have a lot of vegetables on their pizza. So, first, we're going to start off with the sauce. I'm just going to spoon it on, and you can put as much sauce if you like a saucy pizza, put a lot of sauce. I'm just going to sprinkle it around and then we're going to spread it. Now, I happen not to like that much sauce. But some people love saucy pizza, so you can put as much sauce on as you want. And if you spread it with the back of the spoon, it spreads really nice. You can spread it all over. Make sure you get all over. And just put a little bit more over here. And like I said, you can put as much sauce as you like. Okay, now next, we put the cheese, and the same with the cheese. Some people love cheese, so they put a lot of cheese. Some people just like a little cheese, but you just sprinkle it all up and down your pizza. Sprinkle it all over. Okay. Make sure you get it all over. Okay, there's the cheese. That's mozzarella cheese. And then I'm going to put half pepperoni, because I like pepperoni. So I'm just going to make half of it pepperoni. So I'm going to put here on this half some pepperoni slices. If you like a lot of pepperoni, you can put a lot of pepperoni. Okay, so there. Pepperoni on the pizza. Okay, so this is a half cheese and half pepperoni pizza. Now, I'm going to put it in the oven, and it's going to take about 10 minutes. So while that's cooking in the oven, I'm going to read a story called Curious George and the Pizza, and I'm going to talk a little bit about it. So while it's cooking, I'm going to have a story. So I'll be right back. Don't go away. I'm going to put it in the Okay, it's in the oven. Yay! So now I'm going to take the camera and turn it around so we can see the map of Italy. Let me get the camera 
And I'm going to turn it around. Oops. There, and see, there is the map of Italy. Italy is in the continent of Europe. And it's right here. Switzerland's here in Austria. And Hungary's over here. And this is it. And it's shaped like a boot. It has a unique shape. And it's a peninsula. And that means it's surrounded by water on three sides. And look, it starts up here. And it goes down here. Look, it looks like a toe of a boot and a heel of a boot. And right here, that's Rome. It's the capital of the country. A lot of people go to visit Rome. It has a lot of coliseums there that people like to visit. In Florence, right here, that's where my grandfather is from. And he came over to America in the 1900s. And his family's been here ever since. And then over here, we have another famous city that people love to go to. To visit is called Venice. Hey, we have a Venice, California, and they have canals there, and so their streets are like water. You have to take a boat to get to places. So a lot of people go there. And then right here, there's a little town called Pisa. I want to show you a town, but right here is the Mediterranean Sea, and people love to go. To the Mediterranean Sea and go on the beaches and ports over here. In the Mediterranean Sea and up here are the Alps. That's a mountain range up there. And like I said, right here is a little town of Pisa and they are famous for the Leaning Tower of Pisa. People love to go visit this. This was built in the 12th century and the reason why it leans, if you see it's a tower and then just leans like this just a little bit over. And that's why it's called the Leaning Tower of Pisa. And that's because the ground wasn't very strong. It was like, almost like a, like a marsh, which is soft ground. So when they built it, it just took a little, little tilt that way. And you can look this up. I think there's a video um, on for that. And then over here is the flag. And the flag is uh, red, white, and green. And the colors represent stuff. The red represents charity. The white represents faith. And the green represents hope. Because that's what the flag. Now, Italy is known for their pizza, but they're known for their pasta and uh, lasagna and uh, a lot of fish because of the Mediterranean right here. They eat a lot of fish, especially the people who live along here. And uh, there's a, they're famous for their pesto, which is a green sauce that they put on pasta. And I think Miss Maria is going to make that. I'm not sure. The pasta, uh, presto, pesto is a green sauce. I think she made it for us for a snack one time at school. And um, they're mostly Roman Catholics. That's their religion. And there's up here, there's like the Vatican. That's where the Pope lives, who's, a, who's the head of the Catholic Church. And a lot of people go to visit him in Vatican City. So it's a fun place to go and visit. So now I'm going to read you a story. Turn the camera back around. I'm going to read the story of Cure. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you too. There's a dessert that they invented and it's called Diletto Ice Cream. And I have some and I'm going to show it to you later after the pizza's out. And it tastes really good. It's, it's it's just a little different than the ice cream we're used to. It's a little smoother. They make it with less cream. That means anything to you. But um, you should ask mom to buy you something. You could try it. It's good. Okay. Curious George and the pizza. Let's see what Curious George 
it's in two. Okay, there's Curious George. Let's go out for pizza tonight, George, said the man. At the pizza place, Tony the baker was getting the pizza ready for baking. You see Tony back there? That's the kind of dough I was talking about when it's dough ball. We have to knead it and spread it. And look, he's twirling it up in the air. He's stretching it out. Uh, he flattened out a ball of dough into a large pancake and then he tossed it into the air. That would be fun. That would be fun to do. He spread the tomato sauce just like we did. We spread the tomato sauce. He's making a round one. He spread the tomato sauce just like we did. And he's put in the cheese just like we. It looks like his is a little different cheese. Put the cheese on just like we did. It looks like his is just going to be a cheese pizza where we put toppings on ours. And then he put it into the oven like Miss Jane put ours in the oven and I'm waiting for it to be done. And the telephone, then the telephone rang. A fellow from the factory wants a large pizza delivered in a hurry, Tony's wife said. One pizza coming up. Okay, I'll get my coat, said Tony. So Tony's going to go get his coat. George was curious. Of course George was curious. Could he make a pizza too? I bet he could. <gasps> He jumped up on the counter and took out some dough. Oh, look, see the dough? See how it's in little balls? He took out the dough. Let's see what's going to happen. George pounded the dough into a pancake. Then he tossed them in the air. Look at that. He tossed it in the air with all four hands. <laughs> look. He's got one, two, three, four balls. He's tossing it into the air. Let's see what happens. <gasps> Look. Let me go right there. One of them plopped right in the middle of the table where a woman was sitting. Another landed on the coat rack. <laughs> and one landed on the jukebox. Oh no. And one landed smack on Tony's head. Ooh, I think Tony's gonna like that. Look at Tony, he doesn't like that. <gasps> who did that, he shouted. Who did that? Who, who, who? George was scared, because Tony was shouting. <gasps> he ran out and jumped into a small truck to hide. The look what truck that is. That's the pizza delivery truck. He ran in there to hide. That customer is still waiting for the pizza, said Tony's wife. You better hurry. They'll be closing the factory in a few minutes. I forgot all about it, Tony said. Oh no. I forgot all about it. Quickly, he packed the pizza in the back of the truck and he drove off. Look who's in the back of that truck. And he drove off. The truck sped up to the factory, but it was too late. The gates were closed. Too late, the gates are closed. Oh no, Tony groaned, how will I deliver the pizza? Oh no. He opened the back of the door of the truck and there was George. So that's where you've been hiding, you little monkey, Tony cried. That's when you've been 
hiding. He reached in to get George, but then he stopped. He had an idea. What do you think that idea is? Can you think about that? Before I turn the page, think about it. What do you think his idea is? I've got an idea, he said. You're just the one I need. How good, how good that George was in the, how good that George was a monkey. Look, he had an idea. What was it? That George could climb over the gate because he's a monkey and monkeys are good climbers. And look, he's holding right onto the pizza and he can still climb because his feet are almost like hands, right? He can grab on with his feet. Yay! Look at that, shouted the factory guard. A monkey delivering a pizza. Wouldn't that be funny if you opened your door and the monkey was delivering a pizza to your house? That would be pretty funny. That would be pretty awesome, actually. Thanks, George, said Tony. You made up for the trouble you caused. I'm going to make you a special pizza just for you and your friend, when I get back. Oh, he's not mad anymore because George helped him out. And that's what he did. He made a special pizza for George and the man. <gasps> the end of Curious George and the Pizza. Well, I think our pizza's done. I think I heard the thing go ding. So I'm going to go get it, and I'm going to put it on the table, and we're going to cut it, okay? So I will be right back. Okay, so I'll be right back. ice cream and we got the pizza let me put this back just a little bit so we can cut the pizza oops okay here's the pizza look at that oh it's nice and golden look at the cheese all melted the crust is nice and crispy and golden brown doesn't that look good it smells good too Hmm. Okay, I'm going to cut a piece. I'm going to get a napkin from over here. And I'm going to cut a piece. I'm going to cut the pepperoni piece for me. I like pepperoni. I'm going to cut a piece. And I have a piece of roller, but you can use a knife. good. It smells good too. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Really good. Mm. Mm. Okay, I'm going to get a bowl for my joke. Okay. They had different flavors. I picked out. This is a mint green. It kind of looks like ice cream. I mean, it is ice cream. It just tastes a little bit different. You should try some. It's good. I'm going to put a scoop in here. A nice big scoop. And a nice big scoop. Pizza and Italian ice cream. What else could be better? Mmm. Mm, very good. And if you have pizza for your dinner, if you make pizza for dinner, this is definitely dessert, which is very good if you have this for dessert. But also what would be nice is a nice salad with some carrot sticks to go along with your, your delicious pizza. Well, thanks for joining me. I had a good time. Uh, I had a good time making the pizza with you. 
I hope during the week you can make one with your mom or dad. Oh, and another one, besides buying the dough balls or this kind that I had, you could also just take muffins, English muffins. Remember we used to make those at school? And just put your little sauce and your cheese and if you like pepperoni, put pepperoni. So you can make it any way you want. Right, thank you. We'll see.